Hello guys and welcome to another Fusion 360 video. In this video we're gonna program this side panel. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna turn this into an NPR file so you can open this up in Bootwap. Alright, so let's get to it. So first thing we're gonna do is create a new setup. Okay. Alright, so uh, I don't want this hornet here right in the front one in the back so we're gonna move it and this is how we do it alright so I want to show you we're gonna go to uh, Y axis alright we're gonna select this edge here and then you move back here see it see the Y axis pointing down X axis points to the left you got the Z axis pointing up alright that's what you want okay let's rotate the model so you can see where it is this bottom corner right here, right? Right, and I'm not gonna add any stock, so um, I'm just gonna, just gonna click OK. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna use 2D contour, alright, to create all these grooves here. We got one, two, three, four, five. Alright, and then we're gonna we're gonna notch this out here. Alright. And all right, so um, we're gonna go to. I'm gonna use. You can use a 2D contour if you want, but you're gonna have more macros when you open open this program in Woodwalk. You want you gotta wanna have less macros. It's just it just looks a lot cleaner, you know, in my opinion. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna use 2D pocket. I'm gonna select the tool. Gonna select uh, the 12 millimeter three flute down cut 46206k. So right here, select that. All right, we're gonna select the geometry. We're gonna select this face. This face. This face this face all right in this face okay let's check the next tab let's check our heights so everything is good passes all right by default I have this checked I'm just gonna uncheck it I'm not gonna have multiple depths I'm just going down one eighth of an inch all right so I'm just gonna plunge all right um step over six millimeters just I'll uh, leave it the way it is Alright, um, next tab is going to be the linking tab. Okay, and uh, I'm not going to use uh, the rem type, it's not going to be zigzag, it's going to be plunge. Alright, like I said before, I'm just, going to go, I'm just going down one eighth of an inch. Alright, so I'm just going to click OK. Let's create the tool path. Alright, there you go, let's, uh, let's simulate it. Right click on it. Simulate. Let's play it. Good. All right. Rotate the model. Okay. Right. Let's click up close. All right. So we got one more operation, which is going to be it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a two D contour that I'm going to use here to notch this out. All right. So we're going to go to two D contour. Select that. All right. We're going to use a uh, different tool it's gonna be a, a 12 millimeter compression bit so it's gonna be the 46 
46014K, all right? Select that, okay. Select geometry, okay. We're gonna select two edges, right? Just this and this right here, okay. Selects everything, right? That's not what you want, all right? So we're gonna double left click on it, open contour, select open contour. That edge is already selected for me. So we're gonna select this edge here, all right? And we're gonna click the plus sign to accept it, right? Okay. All right. All right, uh, next tab, heights. All right, so I'm going, I'm going all the way through, right? So it says bottom height. I'm gonna write down minus two millimeters, right? It's my floating keyboard, so minus oops, minus two millimeters, right? Some of the keys on my keyboard are not working because my daughter was using a laptop the other day. And she spilled water on it, so. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as soon as I get my desktop set up, uh, all right, so I'm not gonna use the floating keyboard anymore. All right, so um, next tab, passes, um, you can put a step down if you want. Start to leave, just uncheck it. So we're gonna go to multiple depths, right? All right, so I'm gonna do, if you, you can do four or five millimeters step down, I'm gonna do four. Alright, um, feet rate, finish feet rate, you have a 15 meters per minute, you can, you can bring this down to 10 meters, whatever you want, right? I'll leave it the way it is, um, let's go to the linking tab, okay, we got the lead in and lead out, check, check, mine's always going to be 60 millimeters, alright, and rim type, uh, I don't need that. Okay, uh, safe distance. I'll, I have it at one millimeters. Alright, uh, keep tool down. Alright, this is when um, you're doing the pocket. I check this, and then you can you can play with the distance. Alright, um, let's click OK. See the tool path. There you go. Alright. Okay. And, and simulate the entire setup so click on setup right click on it it's gonna simulate everything play right. there you go let's close that all right so we're gonna post this um, you can name the setup here if you want. All right, I'm, I'm gonna name this site panel. Click enter. All right, so um, let's post this right. Right click on site panel. Post process. Okay. All right, I got the newest post that I got from the website. All right, the Autodesk website. All right. So I got the newest one. Um, before that, I had an old one that I got back in 2016. All right, but this is way better. You get more contour lines when you open uh, the programming woodwork. Okay, um, everything set up here. All right, so we're gonna operations. You got the operations here. You can this is cool. You can you can um, you can see what your first operation is gonna be. All right, so the first one is the 2 D pocket. All right. See the tool that's going to be using. All right. Okay. Let's go back to settings. Let's post this. And yes, I want to overwrite it. Okay, let's post it. All right. So I'm going to go to my folder where the program is. Okay. Oh, didn't post. But, all right. So let's go back. Try one more time. Right click. Uh, right click on it. Post process. Oh, 
it was under uh, under back so the name is side panel it's my mistake all right post let's go to the folder side panel let's open it up you can see in wood block there you go all right if you have a tool changer, that's you know you can you can leave everything here. If you if you don't have a tool changer, like in my case, the machine that I program and operate doesn't have a tool changer. You're just gonna have to cancel. I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna have to if you're gonna you're gonna use two different end mills. You're gonna have to cancel um, the last macros here. One, two, three. It should be four. It's five actually. Oops, six. There you go. All right. And you can run this in the machine if you don't have a tool change your name. You only swap out tools. All right, and then you have to um, you're gonna have to um, you have to turn this off here, right? And then turn this off and turn the other ones back on. Okay. All right, turn this back on, and then you're gonna be ready to uh, to create that notch. Right. Okay. But if you have a tool changer, you can leave everything on. All right. Okay. You can also um, you can also create two different uh, two different two separate programs. All right. For your machine that doesn't have a tool changer. All right. So I can I can show you that. So let's let's go back to Fusion 360. We're just gonna select the pocket operation so we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna post it and we can name this side panel okay pocket all right post it okay that's one program right and the second program is gonna be right creating this notch here so we're gonna right click on it, we're gonna post process, let's name this side panel, panel notch. Uh, you can you can uh, I'm not right I'm not putting down the underscores, it's just uh, the underscore key is not it's not working. It's, you know, I don't want to spill water on my keyboard or my laptop, so I'm not gonna do it. You can you can you can you can add the um you can add the underscore and work up. All right, let's post this. Let's go to my folder. Get the first program. Side panel. It's a side paint. Okay, side panel. Open it up. Side panel pocket. I don't want to save this. It's one program. All right. Let's check out the second program. It's just going to be the side panel. Side panel notch. You help. There you go, right? So you got two different programs, right? Okay, so that's all for this video, guys. Um, I'm gonna be creating more content um, on uh, how to use Fusion 360 to program Wiki Home Max CNC machine. So if you guys like this video, all right, just click on like, comment, like, and subscribe, please. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.